And then, okay, so talking about the fight and all that stuff and getting it booked, right? Um, you went home to St. Louis after the UFC 300 press conference, hanging out for a couple of weeks, waiting to get that call. They finally called you. But remember we said last time, they got to call you quick or else it's going to cost a little bit more money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they, you, they did you like, you no know, breed, breed, no. Yeah. Did you negotiate at <laughs> all or you just said, yes, sir, I'll take it? Would you be interested in, like, let's say you can't even get um, Neil Magny or something like that? Would you be interested in just fighting, like, a lower-ranked guy to be on the, sh on the show? Or at that point, would you just be looking to maybe, like, headline Tampa yeah. or something? So, and, and, and I love that you asked that, right? Because yeah. we're going to keep it above, right? If I want to fight, I want to fight. But... Let's make it make sense for me. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, even though I want to fight, I'm still doing the UFC a big favor by being on the card. So if I'm taking an unranked fighter, right, then let me be able to do some shit, you know? And especially give me that main event, right? Don't just give me just, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just put me anywhere on the card just because to fill me in. Let me get that main event, right? Let me be able to shit. Because to be honest with you, I don't even want to cut no weight if that's the case. Let's make it the catch weight, like you know, because I, I just I just be training now. Now I ain't gotta focus on cutting that weight down and all this other stuff. So there's some things I would want if I get an unranked opponent, but I would still be willing to do that if the UFC is willing to, you know, shit with some things I want to as well. They just gotta do what I ask. Uh, yeah, I just took it. I ain't gonna lie because they pretty much said nothing was on the line, right? Uh, I I want to at least make it a catch weight. I want to get some, like I said, some extra money. Uh, some extra funds, uh, but they said, look, you either want it or you don't. And I truthfully wanted to fight, so I said, forget it, bro. Give me the fight, and I'm going to show y'all what I can do, and I'm going to show y'all exactly what I'm made of and and how well I'm I'm great at this shit, right? And I did that. Not only with my performance, but bringing people out and, and showing them, like, bro, we pull numbers out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. And now they're going for a pay-per-view. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully a pay per view yeah. next year, but um. Yeah. Also though, what were your thoughts when you got him? Did you know about like I got three things right off the bat? I'm thinking of one's funny and then one two are serious. But um, the the weight dropping down to 170. Then you got the eye pokes in his last fight, and then the butt grabbing. The butt grabbing. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> you know yeah, about this stuff warrior. before you accepted it? Uh, no, I didn't know anything about it. Oh, you didn't uh, know so anything I, about I've, it. So I would say. So all right, so when they offered me to fight, first off, I didn't know the name. I didn't know who he was. Uh, they didn't. They didn't give me a name. They said, "Do you want to fight?" Yes or no. Uh, we looking for somebody right now. That's what they said. They looking for somebody. So I'm like, I right, I don't care who it is. Find me somebody, and I'm gonna fight. But it's the yes on my side. They end up calling me five minutes later, talking about it's Nasrto, and obviously I knew of him because we fought on the same card, right? I'm like, this nigga 185. He's gonna be dropping down to 170 now. So I'm like, all right, whatever, bet. So I said, let's go, let's go. But I giggled and I laughed because when I seen him and when I spoke to uh, Nurse Sultan, because I had my boy Marad back, who's also from Uzbekistan. Uh, oh my God, bro, I didn't fuck around, man. I got that <laughs> from Uzbekistan, um, from there. And he ended up uh, translating for me that he said, oh, no, no, I fight, I fight at 172. I said, bro, ain't no way in hell you fight at 170. So I'm thinking that conversation between me and him and what we had, he was like, oh, yeah, I got an easy lick, right? Uh, but he don't want to fight me because whatever, because he's fearful that I can make the weight. So he thinking that my weak, uh, my kindness was weakness at that point. So now I'm just like, all right, whatever, bet. But the thing is, though, a lot of these guys don't realize, and I do my homework on, on you boys, right? So as soon as we got the uh, the matchup and as soon as I signed the contract, we end up going on topology, just going to see all his little fight. And we realized, bro, you fighting all balls from back home. I do my homework on him too a little bit. Right. And one thing I found out familiar, you know, because the fight world is so small, funny enough, even though it's global, uh, he fought Albert Duraev's brother, little brother, right? And lost to him at 170. He got controlled the whole time, uh, got taken down every single time and wasn't able to get off his back and he got real tired. And my thing is, if you can't beat the little brother, you know what I'm saying, that didn't even make it to the UFC, how you think you're going to beat me when I beat the uh, big brother who was at his at his prime? who was also on a 10 fight winning streak at the time in Austin. So, yeah. All right. And then, but I don't think you've just mentioned it there, but you guys talked backstage, and then that's when you were like, oh, you fight yeah. at 185 or something. But you also said you're a big dude, and I'm happy I moved down to 170. And yeah, that's when yeah, he, yeah, that's so, it is. So, yet again, and that's when he said, that, I fight at 172. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, with him saying that, it's just like I said, bro, uh, 
he thought that he had an easy lick on his hands. Was like, all right, this guy don't want to fight me because he thinking because he had 170 and I'm at 185 that we shouldn't fight each other. But I'm also a welterweight fighter, which he's not a welterweight fighter at all. He drains himself uh, too much. Every loss that he has is at 170, bro. So oh, really? all his fights. Yep, yep. So he has uh, eight losses, nine now, <laughs> and they all at one seven. 